All right, guys, we're playing Chelsea away to start the stream. Five league matches left. We are in an absolute dog pile. Fifth to ninth is two points apart, and we are in fifth. Uh, fourth to ninth is four points apart. Uh, Newcastle being involved in that as well. And we are playing a six-pointer at Chelsea. This is an absolute monster. We win this. We're four points out of Chelsea with four matches left. One of those is at home against Arsenal, who is in the title race against Manchester United. So there is that going on. Little uh, Chelsea Tottenham, little London sauce in this, and it's a huge six-pointer. Okay, so Vicario, Lewis, Romero, Inacio, Vandeven, Guerra, Basuma, Kulazewski, Seca, Zanini, Hendrik. We're going to come out and play aggressive, by the way. We've been absolutely cooking teams recently. I was thinking about this before I went to sleep last night. We are coming out. We're going to play aggressive. I want the smoke. You know, I want, I want the smoke. Nice bike, dude. Run. Play him. Oh, let's go. Zanini's so fast that, I mean, there's no way that he's going to manage to get caught here. Oh, get him on! Come on! Come on! We look absolutely full of swagger now. Kulazewski. Oh, how did he fit that in there? Basuma. There's a West Ham fan watching Z. Oh. Goal! Dude, it's easy. I, uh, I don't know why we just win all the time. I don't know why we don't just win all the time. Gonzalo Inacio back post corners for life. I think Chelsea is playing FM and they bought Wonder Kids. The problem is... Well, one, whatever we just did is a problem. Good block. Good catch. Easy does it, boys. Easy does it, boys. Uh, I'm going to focus on possession for the second half. All right, Lee Kong-in, Yanis Constantelius. Wait, is he he's coming in as a wing now? We love super sub Yanis Constantelius, Lee Kong In. Oh, Lee Kong In in Stamford Bridge to give Tottenham the 3 1 lead. And the history of Korean greatness in white shirts continues. Lee Kong In. Oh, we're going to score, aren't they? Whoa, dude. Whoa, dude. Oh, do -do. Ooh, Lee Kong In. Oh, there's openings. Oh, there are openings. Is he going to pass it to any of them? Nope. He's going to try and make a really, really difficult pass and fail. Nice. Well done, dude. That was brilliant. Great job, Lee kong -in. Way to force that ball down the field. Oh, oh, do it again. Do it again. Oh, he played it short. Shoot it, dude. You already scored a free kick today. Oh, hell yeah, chat. On the road in Stamford Bridge. It's top. Oh, we're top four. Well, I mean, Newcastle hasn't played yet, but we are top four. <gasps> and we're four points ahead of Chelsea, which is important. We've created a degree of separation. That sucks. That sucks so hard. Even though it's just two to three weeks, it still sucks. Okay, this is huge. This match is massive. All right, this is a good team. We're playing a good team. All right, Athletic Bilbao is a good freaking team. They're in ninth in La Liga, so this is their gold medal round two. They are going to be playing hard. They've got star boy Nico Williams out there. 
This is the Europa League semifinal chat. This is uh, this is what it's all about right here. This is the, this is the, the yeah. This is this this is the, this is the business right here. This is the business. Away against Athletic Bilbao in the semifinal of the Europa League. It's Tottenham. Oh, we had so many chances in that counter chat. We had so many chances. We'll be fine. Everything's coming up, Millhouse. Thank you for the eight months, brother. I appreciate you supporting the stream. Enjoy the ad-free experience. I want to give them a chance to respond because they are a little better than the guys we'd be bringing in. I want to give them a chance to respond. So we're going to leather them at halftime. Give them an opportunity to respond. That'd be a nice response. Give me that! There you go. That's what we need. That's the buildup we need. God, Kulazewski, you freaking... All right, <clears throat> Santi and Pape Matar, sorry, you got it. Uh, yo, Eves, God, why do you suck today, dude? What is it with these giveaways, Eves? What is it with these giveaways, Eves? Seriously, man, why do you suck today? I'm looking for honest answers only. That's why I left Vandevin in. That's why we left Vandevin in, literally for that play. Because he is a really tall fullback. And if they get that back post one-on-one, -on -one, I don't want to give it to them. Eberts. Oh, my goodness. It's Santi Jimenez! Oh! What? What? Spurs, what? Say it to my freaking face. That's a comeback. We're changing the narrative, chat. We're changing the history. We are changing the narrative. 2-0 down at halftime. Red card in the 52nd minute. And we pulled a 2-2 draw out of Bilbao. Yeah, we, we've got Arsenal at home in three days, which is a tough one. I'd have sandwiched right in between our Europa League semifinals, but I'm a believer, chat. Does he miss the final? No, he doesn't miss the final. Fortunately for us, he doesn't miss the final. Just the semi. Ooh, man, there were a lot of people piling on that uh, tis the history of the Tottenham train after we went down 2-0. And after we got the red card, which fair enough, I was watching that red card happen and I was like, that's going to complicate matters. But we put a good tactic together. We adapted. Really gave them nothing. We gave them absolutely nothing after we got that red. All right, Jonathan David, you are back on the bench in a rare turn of events. Okay, we've got Vicario, Quixote, Phillips, Inacio, Livermento. And this is what we needed, apparently. Mom, I'm scared. At home against Arsenal, we're sandwiched in between our Europa League matches, so this is a bit of a rotated team, but the last time we played Arsenal away, that was our first match in charge as a manager, and we did draw nil-nil. I'd take I'd I'd shake your hand off for another nil-nil. Because if they win this match, they go top of the league. This is a monster match for them. If they draw, United stays top of the league and they're even on points. Obviously, if we win, that's terrible for them. But that would also set us up for a tremendous finish to the season to chase that top four spot off Newcastle. Oh, yeah. Well, this, all of my entire midfield just left. So this is, every part of this is awful. That was an amazing tackle by Inacio because I thought Martinelli was about to dribble my entire team. 
I mean, Ashley Phillips got left for dead. Inacio, I thought, was left for dead. That's an incredible tackle. Great recovery block by Saar. Quixote, Gamara, Saar. Yikes, that was nearly terrible. Walker Peters. Oh my goodness, he's got Michael Quixote! They're press, they're in a 4-3-3. Their press is not crazy. We can do this. Oh, what a ball by Seca. Weird touch by Kyote, but it worked. Leave it! Oh my. All right. Good shape. And all right. We've been having trouble with this all match long. Goodness gracious. Got baited in a little bit. Do not, you cannot trigger the press on them. Martinelli's clearly feeling it today, though. That run that he had earlier was nasty. All right. Walker Peters. Oh, no. Oh, yes. And what are you doing? Oh, what a play. Seca! All right, we're going to stay in this at least for now. I think, you know, 60, 65. We're going to get more expansive, and we're going to chase. I've actually been the better team in the second half. Come on! Come on! Oh, Zanini. Just right by him. Yes. I like the hard low cross. That, that is that is good. Oh, yeah. Kyote, Sar. What is that? Gamar. Do we, what, are you, what are you doing? Okay. Oh my. Good. Immediate highlight. We like that. Sar. Battle. Battle. Freaking Arsenal free kick on that. Dude's flopping around like you wouldn't even believe he's flopping. What are you doing? God. I'll win a European trophy. Raise your hand if you saw the uh, a tweet or a news article about how Lionel Messi spoke uh, speaks English. So as ubiquitous as that was, like as everywhere as that story was, you want me to tell you something crazy? That came from my podcast. <laughs> that, that news story came from my podcast. Newcastle just beat Liverpool 4-0. Goodness gracious. Chelsea also won 4 1. Arsenal just beat Man United in a massive six pointer, so Arsenal's going to win the league now. They just beat uh, United in a six pointer. Martinelli in the 81st minute. I'll be honest, all the teams that play, that's the best team. So, fair enough. But first order of business is getting to the Europa League final, and that is going to be tricky. That is going to be tricky. It's 2 2 on aggregate from our trip to Spain. No Kulazevsky with the red card, but it is match day. Hendrik, you're starting uh, at right wing. Jimenez is starting at striker. That's what I'm going to do. Uh, oh, my goodness. Ashley Phillips should not be starting. All right, we're going over the whole team. Vicario, Rico Lewis, Romero, Inacio, uh, Van de Ven, Guerra, Basuma, Hendrik, Seca, Zanini, Jimenez. That's our move. All right. Europa League semifinal, leg two. It's all down to this leg. If we win this leg at home, we are going to the Europa League final against either Eintracht Frankfurt or Freiburg. All right, boys, here we go. It's Bill Bell at the new Tottenham Hotspur Stadium. And the bells are ringing, chat. The bells are ringing. Hendrick. Oh, the <sighs> still ours. 2-2 two, two from the first leg. It's all down to this. Sick. Awesome. Love that. All right. Uh, Mikey, you're in. 
Yeah, Hendrick was like, you don't play me at striker. He's probably the one that injured. Hit it! Mikey, 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 Mikey. Oh, Sanini. Uh, oh, good counter press by Mickey. Oh, my. It's good. It's good first half. And we're trusting the kid from the reserves, Gamara, in for Javi Guerra, who's not played well. We don't have a sub for the striker spot that we remotely like. Oh, look at the wing. Seca. Zanini. Square it. He tried at least. That's all right. Seca. Oh, and he made it look so easy. Bellarmino Seca has given Spurs the lead. In a European semi-final. Lewis, well won back by Gamara. Mikey Moore. Mikey Moore to go. Oh, Gamara. Gamara! It's the kid from the academy. It's Hector Gamara. And it's 2-0. Given a chance in the first team. That is taking full advantage. A special moment in the new Spurs stadium. I was I was feeling it. Oh, it's up for Hendrick. Ooh. Yeah, he's got like 13 finishing. Uh, Gamara does. He's got really good anticipation, which is obviously important. Oh! It's Papi Matasa! With the candles on top of the cake for Tottenham Hotspur. Down 2-0 in 11 minutes in Bilbao. They've won the tie and they've won it convincingly. <sighs> Absolutely dominant. We are going to the Europa League final, and we will be playing Eintracht Frankfurt, who have beaten Freiburg 3-1 on aggregate. A 3-0 second half explosion. To the Europa League final we go. Probably rest of the season for Santi Jimenez, which is not fun, but looks like it is all in on uh all in on Hendrick. There have been worse things. Bournemouth one day oh, no! Arsenal is not bottling this. They drew away to Leicester on a 92nd minute goal. Well, they can't bottle it. No, they can. They absolutely can. If United wins their last two games and Arsenal lose on the final day, they absolutely can. Arsenal drew away to Leicester and the league is still very much on. All right, so the FA Cup is not going to be a bid stealer for European places, which is nice. There is a ton on the line right here. An absolute ton. All right, Vicario, Rico, Romero, Inacio, Vandevin, Guerra, Saar, Kulazevsky, Seca, Zanini, Endrick. That's our team. All right, three matches left. If we win all three, we finish fifth in the Prem, and we are going to the Champions League regardless of what happens in the Europa League final. Obviously, the higher we finish, the better. Uh, our whole season is hanging on our ability to handle... Um, these two matches, or these three matches. And that starts away against Brentford. Every single one of these matches is life or death importance now. Every single one is life or death importance. Wow. That was close. <laughs> Great work from second to draw it, Guerra. Continues his perfect penalty record. Javi Guerra, that is perfect start. Oh, uh, 
Ooh, Sar going for Gera. Up to Indrik! Surely! 2 0. That didn't go out. Oh, we on uh, we on a counter here? Not if Seca does that. Goodness gracious. Oh. Let me say Jason Kelsey retired. That's a shame that dude's a heck of a football player. Great career. He'll be in the Hall of Fame probably. Why? Bring it down. There's nobody in the area code, Indrik. There's nobody within a country mile. He's off. He's so off. Thank you. The flag's up. So I want to see a response. As we have gone from this match, looked real comfortable to we didn't do anything in the last 30 minutes of the half. We, I literally don't think we had a shot in the last 30 minutes of the half. We did nothing. He might reverse this. I mean, at least in the 3D engine, this was a very clean winning of the ball. But you never know what the match engine sees. Yeah, all right, fair. Ah. A hell of a comeback by them, honestly. They did it the only way they could. They got that deep floated cross. They got a set piece goal. They got a pen. Oh, there we go, baby. There we go. There we go, baby. That's what I'm talking about. One more. One more. It's Indrik with a cheeky. I think that was a back heel. I think this was a back heel. One more. Coyote. Lee Kong in. Good pass. Javi Guerra whips it in with pit. Yes, it was. Good. You, you filthy beast. You absolutely filthy animal. Oh, that is just so saucy from Indrik. He's not even looking at the goal. He just knows where it is. Avi Guerra zips a ball. Indrik with that movement. He finds it. Back heel in. Oh. Coyote. That's a red. Let's go. That's a red. Get him out of here. Yeah, you had two goals and a red card. Get him off the field. He's nonsense. Okay. Vandevin. Goodness. He's not had a great game today. All right, Mickey. Any day now. Thank you. Mikey Moore. Good touch. See you later. Thank you very much. Any day now, ref. Thank you. Three points is three points, but my goodness, we made that hard on ourselves. Yeah, we play Bournemouth, and we play Eintracht Frankfurt in the final, and then we play Crystal Palace, and the season's over. That drives me nuts. I would love to have this guy at striker and then have Indrik play on the right wing and sell Kulazewski to Saudi Arabia for $100 million. I'm just going to make sure Mickey Vandeven is uh, fit enough as well for that coming match. Coyote is going to take Rico Lewis's spot on the right side. So we have a cup final in four days, dude. We've got to we got to put a team out there that's good enough to win this match, and then we got to be ready for the cup final in a, you know four days as well. So two matches left in the league. It is impossible to overstate the importance of this match. Champions League, obviously, we have the Europa League final in four days, but Champions League really just hangs in the balance. Europe hangs in the balance right here. Uh, the ability to be in Europe, whether we win Europa League or not, hangs in the balance on this match. Um, we play at home against Bournemouth. If we beat them, we control our destiny for fifth. Uh, if we lose, we could slide all the way to eighth. We have two shots at the Champions League, right? This is one of them. The final match is against Crystal Palace. Uh, a team that, you know, we, we still have to go out and play the match, but we'll be heavy favorites in that match to come out with the win. Zanini. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Come on now. Come on now. Give me a good one. Oh, Romero headed back. Sar! Sar. Seca. Oh, yes. Hendrick. Oh my goodness, what's that shot? What is that shot? Hit it! Dude, you did the hard part. I don't even know how you got out of there. Hit the freaking ball, dude.
Created the chances we need. Gamara. Let's test his mentality. Not a good time to be running tests, but let's test his response. Come on. Come on. Come on. We're going to start making adjustments like 10 minutes in. But, uh... Yeah, we'll see how the, we'll see how we start the second half. Right now, right now, I'm making subs if we don't. But right now, Seca. <sighs> oh, Kulazevsky, that should still be ours. There we go. Ko day. Middle, middle, yes, Sar, get a turn, yes, Constantelius. So nice to have you back. Oh, it's the Academy boy. It's Mikey Moore. Who's ripped it by Lebrovich? An earthquake in the Premier League race for Champions League. It's Mikey Moore. From Yanis Constantelius, who's returned from his injury. Neo. Mikey Moore. Oh, good ball. That was a really good ball. Oh, Mikey, you're playing a stormer. Neo, Rico. Well, I mean. We don't have any subs. Kulazewski's like, how can I mess this up even more for them? How can I how can I make this even more difficult for them? All right, so here's how we're gonna do this. Kulazewski's gonna go into the middle. These guys are coming back here. Oh, this is a little nerve wracking. Okay, I, 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 I take off prevent short goalkeeper distribution, but play with the energy, guys. Play with the energy. Kulazewski's found just another way to screw us here. Play with the energy. Constantelius is going to start. Um, probably. Maybe Mikey Moore. Day. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my. Go oh, oh, my. That's a pen. All right, Guerra. Javi Guerra. Blowing it dead on that. That was a dime. That was a gorgeous ball. That's a great win. That's a huge win. And now we do have command of fifth. Chelsea's in sixth. Bournemouth's in seventh. And Aston Villa, even though they won their match, are still in eighth going into the final day. Liverpool's out of European contention for next season. It's Arsenal. Manchester United, who beat Brentford 4-0 to keep the title race alive. Man City was safe in top four. And if Newcastle loses and we win, we actually do creep into the top four. But five teams get Champions League because we're going to have a... Romero and Inacio, they're already resting. Okay, they're already resting. I am I know. I know. Oh, it's a banger. Man City have won the FA Cup over Arsenal. <laughs> wow, what a match. City up 3-0. Arsenal levels it at three, and Man City has won it. Pass winners. Arsenal won it last year. Bournemouth won it two years ago. They're having a real good run. That's weird. We've been able to recover over three-day stretches all season, but for some reason over this three-day stretch, they've just decided that we're not going to uh, recover. That's really disappointing. Uh, yeah, so that's our first, this is our first half team, uh, it's particularly with Hawk and Arner Haraldson. We'll see how it plays. Um, eyes on the center backs, obviously, with uh, Phillips and you know Romero is particularly exhausted, so we'll bring Phillips in. Okay. Okay. Okay.
We come to you today to pray that at long last the eternal nightmare of Tottenham may be allowed to conclude that in this cup final we will deliver a trophy to a wanton thirsty fan base that after so many years deserves one FM gods who control our ability to win this game today I ask humbly let us win it let the outcome be fair and if we deserve it let it be just for we have come so far from when we joined this team and we've done it all for you, FM Gods. Let us crown our journey as a manager with a European trophy in just our seventh season. May we lead Tottenham to glory. In the name And let him a bad boy, we pray. in France is it an end to Tottenham's eternal nightmare or is it another European glory for Eintracht Frankfurt let's go do something nobody thinks can be done huh let's go do something nobody thinks can be done let's go win a trophy with Tottenham We've delivered big win after big win in the league to put ourselves in a good position to get Champions League. Let's get it the old-fashioned way. Let's win something. All right, who's the hero? Haroldson. Oh, against Salo Inacio. Nice, Inacio. That's a counter-attacking starter. Gonzalo Inacio, it's Constantelius. Ref! Kendrick! I'm happy with how we've dominated possession. I'm gonna keep the I'm gonna keep the energy light. We're not gonna go too hard at him. The nerves are obviously jangling. This is a tough, tough environment. Anybody, you know, it's a tough environment for anybody you get in this spot. A little earlier to make a change. We just want Bellarmino. Yeah, thank you for a good 45 minutes, Haroldson. He was not bad, but Bellarmino Sec is a difference maker. We want him on the field as soon as possible. Okay. Oh, that's our ball. Mikey. Mikey Moore. Oh. Play him. Ah, Yannis. Stretch it. Sanini. Oh, yes. Vandeven with the underlap. Seca! Ah, it's Bellarmino Seca! All right, we're bringing in Romero. We're bringing in Sara Zaccaralero, and we are also bringing in Coyote. We're going to put fullbacks on support. We're taking this down. Bellarmino Seca. Dude, every time Seca shoots the ball. I don't think it's going in, and then it's just in. Turn. Yes. Seca. Who's got the wing? Who's got the wing? It's Vittorio Zanini. It's Vittorio Zanini! And that might...
might just do it for Tottenham in the Europa League final. Vittorio Zanini has squeaked it in. The loney from Lazio. There's only one person that could take this penalty. There's only one person that's been here like the whole time. They've been at Tottenham for like a decade. And that'd be Yves Basuma. With two minutes left in the cup final. It's a Tottenham lifer in Yves Basuma. Who still just, you can't take the Tottenham out of the man, can you? Tottenham, after 22 years, have won a trophy, a European trophy. It's Tottenham Hotspur, the kings of the Europa League. In the first season, under manager Zeeland Shannon, he's guided them up from 11th in the league to European places, and he's guided them to their first trophy in 22 seasons. Tottenham Hotspur. Europa League champions. Now that is Spursy. Oh, what a, what a, I can't, I, that honestly up there with my favorite achievements to pull off on football manager, dead serious that I've pulled off ever. United plays Bournemouth. They're good. That that's not easy. Arsenal. I'm going to be honest with you right now. The title race is Arsenal United. Arsenal has to lose. United has to win. Arsenal cannot bottle this. They will never hear the end of it. Cardiff is the last team in the league, and Arsenal has them at home. At Crystal Palace to end the season. A win could put us in fourth and guarantees at least fifth place. The title race is still up in the air. European places are still up in the air. Promotion and rele or relegation is still up in the air. Three teams for one spot. Everybody loses its Fulham. If Fulham loses, it's Fulham. I'll make that very simple. But there is going to be one team left out of the European shuffle. Bournemouth, Aston Villa, or Chelsea. Nice, Constantelius. Vandeven, Constantelius! City are beating Newcastle. All right, the door is open. City's locking up third place. Oh my goodness, Hendrick. Get this to constant. Oh, no, it's Lee Kogan! Oh, love this. Oh, I love this. Zanini! Both my wingers have been point blank. Yeah, I need it. I am. I. Oh, give me a pen. Oh, give me the cheapest pen of all time. A handball. I've never seen one of these overturned. Handball in a corner. <laughs> Javi Guerra. I had a bad feeling about it. I had a bad feeling about it. He was struggling to meet the pace of the match, and I didn't know if that affected his penalty taking or not. But his mentality was he was struggling to meet the pace of the match. So I had a bad feeling about that from the job. It's his first miss of the year. So, I mean, I can't complain too much, but... Had a bad feeling about it. Okay. Get it back to him. Get it back to him. Get it back to him. Hendrick, nice. Lee Kong in. Oh, good square! I was worried we were going to concede. Oop. Well. It's worried we're going to concede a penalty, not an actual goal. One more for the road, boys. One more for the road. Nice, Rico. Oh, get in! Let's go! Call Lee! Call in! Ah! Oh, I like that. The square is open. What are you doing? 
You, I mean, we got a penalty out of that. You could have squared that ball so easily for friggin' Tappen. Actually, will it Eves? Surely, Eves. Surely. Wait, do we, does he have both goals? No, Constantelius had the first. Okay, Eves. All right, Eves. A little redemption tour. The final match of a season in which we have won a trophy. It's Eves Basuma, the Tottenham lifer, who does score this time. Top four, dude. As long as Newcastle didn't muster a stunning comeback. No, Bournemouth got done. Oh, my goodness. Fulham got relegated. They lost to Southampton. That was always, if they lose, then that's just what happens. Brighton ended up with a um, with a draw, nil-nil. So they were fine. If Fulham won, they would have been safe, but they did not win. So they joined Coventry and Cardiff going down to the championship. Fourth place finish. We qualified for the Champions League through our Premier League participation, through our Europa League win. We did it all legit. Arsenal have won the league under Pep Guardiola, which is just interesting. Their fourth consecutive league title. Coming back from behind on Manchester United, who still haven't won the title since 2013. Even though Manchester United had a goal difference of like 28 more. Arsenal win the league, a convincing third for Manchester City, and guess who's fourth? Newcastle and Chelsea getting, uh, well, Newcastle's about to get a Champions League spot anyways. Chelsea's going to get Europa League, and Aston Villa's going to get Europa League.